Hello, in this video I'll show you how easy and practical to describe your data using Excel. In future videos, I'll show you some inferential statistics and hypothesis testing uh, statistics. So you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest videos. So here we're having the example of a class uh, that and the different ages for the students in this class. The first thing we will do, we will start with the mode. And as you can see, every statistic we're having the description here. The mode, it's the most commonly occurring value. So we click on equal, and then we're having mode, and we select the data. So as you can see here from the data, the mode is 23. It means the most occurring age in this uh, set of data is 23. Then we go to median and it's the center value. So it's median. Okay, also we have to select the data. Okay, and also it's a 23. It means if we arrange the ages, uh, from the smaller, from the younger to the older, okay, in the middle we will have 23. And this is what mean means. Also, we're having the mean. The mean it's the average. Okay, so we click on average and we select. So the mean, the average uh, age of this class, it's 23.67. The mode median and mean they give us the central tendency. Now, uh, variance, it, it's a measure of how spread out a distribution is. More precisely, it's computed as the average squared deviation of each number from the mean. So it's equal, variance, and here it's var.s because it's for a sample, and we select the data. And it tells us how far it's from uh, the mean. But we can more, we use the standard deviation. The standard deviation, it means how much scores deviate from the mean and here how much the age. So equal standard deviation, also stdev.s because it's for a sample, public click and also we select the data. So here, in average, the ages, they are far from the mean, 2.26, whether it's higher or lower. Now, all this information, we can get them in one click by using the data analysis. However, here, we click on data, and then we go to data analysis, but as you can see, it's not uh, here. So it's easy to get it. We go to File, Options, we go to add-ins and manage Excel add-ins and we click on go. Here we click on analysis tool pack and we click OK. So as you can see here, we're having the data anal analysis package. We click on it. We have to wait because now it's new here. And we go to descriptive statistics. It's already selected. Click on OK. The input range, it's the data that we're having. Okay. And I have to click on labels in first row because I selected here master program students age. And then I have to precise where I want to get the results. So I click here. And what I want is summary statistics. So as you can see, we're having the mean, we're having the standard error, the median, the mode, standard deviation, and variance. And they are all the same as we calculated them separately. However, we're having here some new information like the kurtosis, which is a measure of the peakness of a distribution. As a rule of thumb, uh, the kurtosis, in order to have a normal distribution, it should be less than seven. And here in green, we're having the normal distribution, and this is the shape of a normal distribution. 
Other statistical packages, such as SPSS, provide excess kurtosis obtained by subtracting three from the kurtosis. The excess kurtosis should be zero for a perfectly normal distribution, as we said, the one in green. We can have a positive excess kurtosis or a negative excess kurtosis. The positive excess kurtosis, it's called leptokurtic, and as you can see, it goes to the peak. And we're having platykurtic, the one in blue, and it tells us it's a negative uh, kurtosis, and it's a flat uh, tapped curve, as you can see here in, the, in blue. So here, the most important to know that the kurtosis, because they might ask us about the normality of the data that we're having, it should be less than seven, and here we're having it, it's less than seven. The other new information we're having here, it's the skewness, which is a measure of the asymmetry of the distribution of a, valid, of a variable. The skew value of a normal distribution is zero, as you can see the one in green. To have this shape, it means it's symmetric, okay? The skewness, the skew value, it's zero. If we're having a positive skew value, as you can see here, uh, indicates a positive skew value indicates the tail on the right side is longer than on the left side here and if we're having a negative skew value it indicates that the tail on the left side is longer than on the right side okay the most important for us here is to know that this skewness the value it should be less than two in order to be a normal distribution. So if they are asking us about the normality of the data that we're having, the kurtosis, it should be less than seven, and as a rule of thumb, the skewness, it should be less than two. Then we're having also here the range. It's, it's the maximum, it means the maximum age in this data in this class, it's 30, and the minimum, it's 21. So 30 minus 20, 21, it's nine. The sum, it's the sum of all ages, but here it doesn't uh, serve us. And the count, it means the number of uh, students that we're having here, and we know that it's 21. Like this, we covered the descriptive statistics. In future videos, we will cover the t-test and the chi-square test. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to the channel if you like the video.